LEGO is sabotaging many of their prequel sets. Hey guys, it's the LEGO Juicer here, and today I have a video of my full explanation on why LEGO is purposely sabotaging many of their prequel sets. Let's start with the first one being the UCS gunship, and in my eyes, the build of this set is a top 5 UCS set. It's beautiful, the techniques used are amazing, and I won the set off a giveaway pretty recently and I love it however the figs on this set are trash I mean aside from them being not the ones we asked for I mean the mace window is cool and all but how can you have a cooler mace window with arm print in a $40 set that's outrageous and it's the same case with the clone commander or the one that also doubles as the pilot of the set that clone commander can be found in a $15 set I mean that's outrageous I mean I know that they said that the minifigures should not be cool for UCS sets because a lot of people want them and not everyone can afford this but at least to make them exclusive I mean it's outrageous seeing a UCS minifigure set in the $15 version I mean it's just outrageous guys as well as the box art logo being incorrect and the comments the designers made were just absolutely awful I mean this set being an original trilogy set come on didn't someone check the video before publishing it it was just outrageous Another one we have here is the clone pack, the one for $15 released in 2022, and people love this set. I believe that they love it. There's no real problem with this set. It's just a problem with Lego, and Lego is just trying to keep this away from the stores. If you go to a Lego store, you will rarely see this set, and for what I know, this is a Lego store exclusive, so never seeing this set on the store is really disappointing, and that's their fault. I think that they're the ones that are not wanting for us to get this set. Another set with that problem is the Republic Fighter Tank. I think that the Republic Fighter Tank is an amazing set. He, this set is a Target exclusive, but even if you go to Target or the Lego store, it's not easy to find this set. And given that this Lego set is pretty popular, this should be easier to get than finding it somewhere else. I mean, it's just extremely disappointing. And many people have been charging $80 or $60 in other markets because Lego has not been making this set enough. I really don't know. I really hate this. And the last set that I believe that Lego is sabotaging their prequel sets is the ATT. I made a video about it recently. But this was the face of the 2022 Summer Wave. Phase 2 Cody, the ATT itself was supposed to be the best set of the summer wave and the face of it it was just gonna be everyone's buying the set but lego is not making enough of these sets as they say and this set will be releasing in september or weeks after the summer wave and it's just extremely disappointing because i know that lego should have mistakes in some of their products but why does it always have to be with prequel sets or sets that matter to us i mean I think that they're trying to do this on purpose, but I really just do not know, guys. But, guys, if you like the video,